Hey, John Cristani here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different, and I hope you like it. I'm gonna be doing an analysis of a successful Facebook affiliate advertisement that I did in a weird niche that made me about $5,000 a day for quite a long time. I'm gonna break down everything, and I'm just gonna really analyze all the aspects of one of my successful ads, one of my first actually successful ads on Facebook was able to bring me in a lot of money, $5,000 a day. And hopefully through this video, helping you understand why this ad worked and really breaking down all of the different aspects from the targeting to the ad, to the button, to the image and everything else around it will help you create your own successful Facebook ad in promoting whatever product or affiliate offer or whatever you're creating will help you make more money. So let's get into it. Hey, John Cristani here, tech entrepreneur, affiliate marketer, all that stuff, teacher, YouTuber. I'll be going over a, a successful Facebook ad that was able to make me hundreds of thousands of dollars and um, hopefully give you some insight into how you can create your own successful Facebook ads for your own products, whether you're drop shipping, whether you're an affiliate marketer, whatever you're selling, hopefully this will help you out. Here is the ad I created, okay? And this was an ad in a niche, and we'll start, I'll start with the creative itself, and then I'll move into some of the targeting and some of the data. So let's look at the ad first. So here we are with the ad and let's start with actually the page title right here. And also if you're watching, if you've been a subscriber before, uh, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I try to do live streams every single Monday and click a like if you wanna see more videos like this and also leave a comment if this is along the lines, if you want more stuff like this, okay? I know not everyone is in a position to spend money on advertising, but for those that are, this is very important. Facebook ads, advertising is one of the best ways to just dramatically grow your income very fast. It's one of the few ways that I think you can, that you can get rich quick in a scalable way. It's hard, but I'm gonna break everything down. So we have US Family News. Okay, now this ad was shown in the US. Now, why did I call it US Family News? Well, the whole point is I want this to seem like news. Again, the angle I'm going, the landing page I'm using for this ad is what's called an advertorial. So an advertorial looks like a news article with a headline, with, you know, maybe a person, subheadline, some text, and maybe a call to action at the end, what we call in affiliate marketing or just in marketing, what we call the CTA, the call to action. Okay, so all of this is going to what looks like a news article, you know, and it, you always have to properly disclaim everything's a news article and whatnot, but that's what it's going to. So I wanted to make sure that going to the landing page that this was going to the news article it was congruent. Congruency is one of the most important things. Making an ad, you know, this is a news, it's going to a news page. Again, that's congruency. If I sent this to a quiz page, it wouldn't seem as real. If I sent this to some form where you could sign up for your email for a free webinar, it wouldn't be congruent. Again, congruency is making sure that it just flows nicely from beginning to end. So news was an important kind of angle I wanted to put in there. Also, I'm call I called it US Family News because my targeting was based in the US, which I'll talk about later. But basically, I wanted it to call out the audience that I was marketing. And by calling out the audience I was marketing to, it makes it feel more relevant. If I advertise this page in Algeria, it wouldn't really seem to make much sense, right? Because people in Algeria would say, why do I want to watch US news? I want to see something from Algeria, right? So if you're advertising in Libya or Nigeria, maybe you'd say Nigerian, you know, Nigerian state news or whatever it is, Nigerian news. I guess I said family because I wanted to give the page this, this sort of non-aggressive appeal. Again, uh, my intention here is to sell a product. It's to sell what's a bed bug eradication. 
It's to help people get rid of bed bugs, and I'm selling a product. So I wanted it to seem a little innocuous, a little light, and I used a picture of just a family as the page, you know, the page image. So that's the first part. Let's move on to the second part of the ad. Now the second part of the ad is what's called the description. So I believe that's it. And we see bed bugs are shutting down businesses and being found at local movie theaters and home. The reason I wrote that is because I wanted to, first off, I'm trying to get rid of bed bugs. So I wanted to really lead with a fear-based approach. Okay, that's how the news leads with. Massive virus taking over the world or blasphemy, you know, riots everywhere, viruses, riots, you know, war, you know, like people are angry. This is what gets people's attention. Fear gets people's attention. People want to read more when it's something fearful. This is how the news works. You might say, oh, John, you're util using fear. Well, look at the media, turn on the TV, open a newspaper. It's what they're all using, okay? We are just stepping into the tactics that these big multi-billion dollar companies. So bed bucks, right? This is what I wanna make the problem to be because ultimately this is a product that I have a solution to, right? I'm selling a solution to this product. Shutting down businesses and being found at local movie theaters and homes. Now, why did I say they're being found at local movie theaters and homes? The reason I said they're being found at local movie theaters as homes is because I'm trying to get people thinking, hmm, I visited a local movie theater recently. A lot of Americans go to the movie theaters. They did. I put up in 2014, just to give you perspective. More people went to uh, movie theaters back in 2014 than they do today in America. Movie theaters were just one of the normal things to do. So I'm creating a link to the audience. I'm making them think, wow, this is me. Okay, and again, in any ads you do, you want your audience thinking, that's me, that's me. The level of specificity you can give to make it more relevant to that individual that you're putting the ad up to will help out your advertisement enormously. An example is if I said, Bed bugs are being found all across the United States. It's not as good of marketing because ultimately if people say, oh, well, if they're being found all across the United States, people don't go into their minds and think, oh, that's me. Because they say, oh, it's just, it applies to everybody. It, I, it probably not me. The more specific you can get to people where people say, oh yeah, that is me, the better. And that's why local movie theaters makes a lot of sense. The next thing is, I'm tying it back to people, their country, movie theaters, homes, and bed bugs. And then we go down and we see massive bed bug epidemic. See how to avoid being attacked. So again, there's fear in there. Attacked. Nobody wants to be attacked. People are gonna click. People are going to be interested and click on the link here because they want to avoid being attacked. Who doesn't want to avoid being attacked? That is a hardcore freaking thing. Overall, this ad is, it's strong enough and, and not enough people actually read this. It doesn't really matter. And even if people did read US Family News, they could assume that it applies to Canada too. So you don't need to get everything perfect in marketing if you've got the major elements right. I was also targeting 21 to 65. Now the reason I was targeting over 21 is because people under 21 are generally completely broke and don't have any money. And in fact, I believe I raised this to be 35 to 65 as I scaled the campaign because I found that folks under 35 years old just, they don't buy anything, they really don't. They buy coffee, they travel, but they don't buy much beyond that. And I was also targeting female. Females are generally a great audience to target. Females just buy more stuff than guys do, especially when it has to do with protecting the home and protecting yourself from things that can attack you. So females just, I got way bigger, better, bigger ROI on females. Now, another thing you'll notice here is where I put the ad, I put it on newsfeed on desktop computer. Now, another thing you'll notice is I put it on newsfeed on desktop computers. And you can see my data up here, 32,000 clicks, 
post shares, post likes. Well, what? Why did I get so many post shares? This is an ad. And that was one of the amazing things about this ad. It's what I believe you should always strive for in all ads is you can see here, this ad got shared. Ad, this is an ad that got shared 6,792 times. One in every five people who clicked on this ad ended up sharing it. That's how congruent it was with the audience. This ad got a ton of likes. This ad got a ton, 576 comments. Now, when you're doing advertising on Facebook, one of the things I really like about Facebook is people give you comments. And I read all the comments and I'm able to figure out whether somebody believes the ad or somebody doesn't believe the ad. And in this case, people believed the ad, okay? People were not saying this is BS, you're just trying to sell me something, John, or US Family News, they didn't say shame on you. Some niches, it's controversial. I'm controversial. You look up my name, you see people hate me or love me. It's just kind of the way it is. I'm not worried about it because I help. But with your ads, if you can strike a chord, if you read the comments and you say, I'm hitting a nerve, that's a really good indicator. It's something that you don't really get in Google ads in search or display ads, but you do get them in YouTube ads. So the same thing on Facebook and you know Twitter ads, Instagram ads, you also get comments and you're able to use those comments to figure out how to make the ad better. This ad was not the first ad I posted. This was many iterations. And the fact that this was shared so much meant that I got very, very cheap clicks. The reason that I got 14 cent clicks was because this ad was shared so much. Generally, the click costs are much higher, even back when I posted this ad. That's really the in-depth analysis into the ad. I went over the creative, I went over the targeting, and I went over some of the data over here. Let me know what your thoughts are. Did you like the data more? Did you like the creative more? Or did you like the targeting the most? Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you'd like to see more ad analysis. I could do more of my own ads. I could do other people's ads. I can even quiz you and show you unsuccessful ads compared to successful ads in a given niche. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you like this video format. Give this a big like. If you wanna see more videos by me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you put the notification bell on because I do live streams. I'm trying to do live streams every Monday. But either way, look forward to talking to you soon and helping you learn marketing and get a passion for it. And as always, remember, drop out of school, quit your job, take control of your life, live life on your own terms, and realize within the core of your being that you can do anything as long as it's not physically impossible. As long as it doesn't break the laws of physics, you can do anything. Talk soon.